Today we're going to compare Battlefield Hardline and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So first, Battlefield Hardline, then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, then similarities and finally the difference. Battlefield Hardline is the latest Battlefield game from EA. The single player campaign is created by Visceral, the makers of the game Dead Space. In the single player you'll play, be playing as Nick Mendoza, a young Miami detective who is struggling between right and wrong. Cop and criminal. The multiplayer resembles a lot like Battlefield 4. Only the team changed, game modes have been renamed and they added a grappling hook. Even though the game hasn't changed much, it's still as fun and intense as it always has been. I'm excited to see if the campaign and the multiplayer will still be fun after playing a long time. Because the game Payday 2 is known for feeling repetitive after playing it for hours. Advanced Warfare is the latest game from the most milked game title in the world, Call of Duty. The game is made by Activision and Sledgehammer Games, who both works for Modern Warfare 3. Advanced Warfare takes place in the future. From what we can see in the trailer is that the graphics has finally got up. The latest engine also improved different things, such as a new animation system includes enhanced facial animation, new rendering systems, a new uh, physics systems and a new audio system. These new aspects made the game more realistic in the way of graphic, animation, physics, sounds and speed. Together it makes for a better game than, than the previous few games. As said before, it takes place in the future. As seen from the trailer and revealed gameplay, you can see cloaking aircraft, twin rotor drones, hover, hover bikes, spider tanks, specialized weapons, powered exoskeletons, scantron grenades and gloves that allow to wear to climb up walls. The plot of the single player goes like this. In 2045, most developed countries including the United States have suffered attacks on their military infrastructures around the world. The largest military force in the world is in the country but powerful private military corporations called Atlas. Mitchell Troy Baker, a former US Marine private, joins Jonathan, the CEO and founder of Atlas, the largest private military company with the most advanced techniques in the world, composing clandestine operations around the world. Iron begins his war with America over his beliefs that the US has failed numerous attempts to, to install Democrats, uh, democracies all over the world for over a century and to change the global balance of powers. Similarities? Well actually the only similarity is that both games are produced by the same people who made Dead Space series. Now the difference. The difference is quite obvious. The time era, now or in 2045. The location, LA or nationwide. And the team, law enforcement or military. Anyway, I'm excited for both games because Battlefield changed theme and Call of Duty has finally improved. I hope you've joined it and don't forget to like, favorite and share the video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. This was the True Game see, and I'll see you guys in game.